Dear Mariners, Welcome, to my channel The Sailing Beast. Please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for updates on upcoming videos. We will discuss formalities connected with registration of an Indian ship when acquired abroad. 1. When a ship is built or acquired out of India and becomes the property of a person qualified to own an Indian ship, the owner or the master of the ship will have to apply to the Indian consular officer at the nearest port for the issue of a provisional certificate of Indian registry and such officer, on production of satisfactory proof of ownership, grant the same to the owner or the master. Such a certificate has all the force of a certificate of registry. It is, however, valid for a period of six months from its date of issue or until the arrival of the ship at a port where there is a registrar or whichever first happens and on either of these events happening would cease to have effect. The provisional certificate so issued will have to be exchanged by the owner for a certificate of registry from the concerned registrar. Too quite often a ship has to set sail from a port where she is built in India to a port where she has to be registered. The owner in such cases or where he has applied to the registrar for registration but delay in the issue of certificate of registry is anticipated, the registrar may, on the strength of the authority issued by the Director General of Shipping, issue a temporary pass to enable the ship to ply between the ports in India. 3. The certificate of registry has to be used only for the lawful navigation of the ship and is not to be detained by reason of any lien, mortgage of interest whatsoever claimed by any party. For anybody having possession of the certificate of registry has to make it over to the person entitled to its custody as otherwise he becomes liable for being summoned before a magistrate and examined on the issue touching his refusal to surrender the certificate to the one entitled to it. 5. No change in the name already in the registry is permitted except in accordance with the procedure laid down in the M.S. Registration of Ships, Rules, as amended from time to time. 6. Application for the registry of alterations to a ship will have to be made to the registrar within one month of the alterations. 7. Where the alterations are material so as to affect the principal dimensions of a ship or the means of propulsion, a ship will have to be registered as new and, in that event, rules applicable for first registry will come into force. 8. Where a ship is registered under circumstances envisaged in para, 6.12. Above the original certificate of registry stands cancelled and the existing entries in the registry, remain closed. The original official number allotted to ship, is however, retained. 9. Where transfer of a port of registry is desired by all the parties having a stake in the ownership or otherwise of the ship, they shall apply to the registrar of a port of registry, who may, with the prior approval of the Director General of Shipping have no objection to such transfer subject to such formalities as has been laid down in the M.S. Registration of Ships, Rules and on payment of the requisite fees prescribed thereof. 10. Whenever there is any change in the master of an Indian ship, in whatever the way the change has come about, a memorandum of change has to be endorsed and signed on the certificate of registry by the presiding officer of a marine board or a court if the change of master is brought about as a result of the findings of the marine board of inquiry or the registrar or any other officer authorized by the central government or the Indian consular officer depending upon whether the change has occurred in India or abroad. 11. In the event of an Indian ship being either actually or constructively lost, taken by the enemy, burnt or broken up or ceasing for any reason to be an Indian ship, every owner of the ship or any share in the ship is required to give a notice thereof to the registrar and thereupon the registrar will make an appropriate entry in the register book and the entry of the ship in that book would then be deemed mortgage that lies unsatisfied on that date will, continue to remain in force. The master of such a ship, if the event accrues in India, will immediately make over the certificate of registry to the registrar or within a period of 10 days after his arrival in India if the event occurs elsewhere.